Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can add quick view feature in your WooCommerce website using a free plugin. Let me show you an example of the quick view feature. Here I'm on the demo WooCommerce website and this is the listings of the products on this demo WooCommerce website. And here you will see a quick view option. If I click on it, it will show you the quick view of that product. Here you will see the featured image, then breadcrumbs, title, short description, price of the product and add to cart button. Below that you will also see a recently viewed products. You can also customize this quick view template. You can change the style settings. You can change the color settings of the template. If you do not want recently viewed products, you can delete that section and you can also add other elements in the quick view template. So let's see how we can add a quick view feature on the WooCommerce website using a free plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. This is a demo WooCommerce website. And now we are going to install a free plugin which will help you add quick view feature on your WooCommerce website. So let's go to dashboard of the WordPress website. Go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Here search for shop engine. So this is the name of the plugin shop engine. This plugin is compatible with Elementor as well as default Gutenberg. So if you are using Elementor on your WooCommerce website, then you can install this plugin. If you are using the default Gutenberg, then you can install this plugin. So on this demo WooCommerce website, I'm using Elementor. So I'm going to install this plugin, Shop Engine Elementor WooCommerce Builder Add-on. Click on Install Now. This is the free version of the plugin. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you what is the difference between the free and the premium Shop Engine plugin. This is one of the best WooCommerce customization plugin in which you will get 70 plus widgets, 20 plus different modules and 15 plus pre-designed templates which you can use to customize your WooCommerce website. This is the best WooCommerce builder. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can watch this video. And the price of the premium version of Shop Engine plugin is only $59 per year for a single website. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the links in the description box. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard. The plugin is installed. Click on Activate Plugin. To enable Quick View, we are going to use only the free version of the plugin. We do not need premium version. So the plugin is installed and it is activated. In the left hand panel, you will see the option Shop Engine. Click on it. So this is the dashboard of the Shop Engine plugin. Just below that, you will see the option Modules. Click on it. Now you will see four different modules are available in the free version. Quick View, Swatches, Wishlist and product comparison and the other modules are available in the pro version of the plugin so in order to activate quick view we do not need the pro version of the shop engine it is in the free version and currently it is already enabled so if i go here to the settings there is no setting we can simply enable or disable this option so currently it is enabled now if i go to website and let's refresh the website let's scroll down and you will see the quick view option is added. This is the wish list which is already enabled. Then quick view and this one is comparison. So if I click on it, you will see quick view window is open. It is going to open a pop-up window in which it will show the quick view or the quick summary of this product. This is the featured image, category, title, pricing, short description and add to cart button. If you want to customize this template, you can also customize this template. You are going to customize the template. So let's close this option. Now we are going to customize the template. So let's go back. If you want to add other features on your WooCommerce website, you can definitely go for the premium version of the plugin. Let's go to widgets. You will see there are many free widgets which you can use to customize the WooCommerce templates. For example, these are the widgets for the single product page. These are the widgets for the archive. This is for the cart and this is for the checkout. My account widgets are not available in the free version. All right, so let's go to builder template and we are going to customize template for the quick view. 
on this demo website i already created the template for my account page and for the shop page so if i go to shop page here you will see a template that i have created for the shop page i used free version as well as the premium version to customize the shop page so let's click on add new template we are going to create a template for quick view so you will see the option here let's name it as quick view template and here you will see type just click on it and you will see the drop down from the drop down select quick view select quick view and let's make it active and you will see some pre-designed templates are available you can use any one of these pre-designed templates or you can create from the scratch okay, so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to click on edit with elementor selecting a real product from the drop down will help you accurate so we need to select one product so that it will show the quick view of that product while customizing the template i'm going to select one product there and click on edit with elementor all right so this is the default layout for the quick view this is the product image then this is you can say the breadcrumbs then the title reviews then short description product price then we have add to cart this one is a variable product so that's why it shows color options here and add to cart button then we have sku that is nothing but the meta and social share so this is the default layout so i'm going to delete this option social share and sku i do not want this option also so i'm going to delete that one also at the top we have breadcrumbs let's leave it as it is this is the entire section so let's select this entire section and let me show you how you can customize it let's go to style settings and let's change the background color i'm just trying to change the color so that i can show you how you can customize it so let's try this one according to your website style settings you can customize the background then we have background overlay border you can also add border shape divider this is the layout this is the boxed layout right so this is for the entire section let's go to breadcrumbs let's change the color here let's make it dark and for the link color let's change it to blue let's go to title and for the title also you can change the colors this is for the reviews you can change the review color also from here you can change the review color the short description you can change the color so you will see all the customization settings are available you just need to select the element and in the left hand panel you will see the settings for that particular element if you want to add more elements you can click on the plus sign here and you will see different elements are available you will see advanced search option deal products filterable product list add to cart is already there bread comes product description you will see bread comes are there product description is there product image is there meta product price then we have review sku product stock product tags title is there product list and product upsell and view single product option is there so let's create another section here and in this i want to add let's say recently viewed products so it will show the list of recently viewed products in the quick view also i just want to show you how does this work that's why i have added this one and you will see the settings for the recently viewed products let's go to settings let's show the title also and the price and the button all right i do not want badge or tag all right and let's make it three columns all right so this one looks good let's click on publish now this will be active so let's go back to store refresh it and click on quick view and now you will see the new layout is used for the quick view so this is the image breadcrumb title there is no review short description price add to cart and below that we have recently viewed products you can still customize this layout you can add some spacing there if you do not want this recently viewed products you can simply delete that option you can add more widgets to the quick view template let's exit from here you will see the new quick view template is active if you want to disable this one you can simply go to edit and you can deactivate it from here and save the changes so using the free shop engine plugin you can add 
the quick view feature in a WooCommerce website. If you want to add more features to your WooCommerce website, you can go for the premium version of the plugin. You can see that there are many features available in the premium version. So it is a package of multiple premium plugins. The pricing of the pro version is only $59 per year for a single website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.